So the Saints Row reboot was announced not long before Gamescom. It was teased slightly over on Twitter and then we got a full blown trailer. We had a few content creators also get a glimpse at proper gameplay which the rest of the world never saw. And now we are in a place where it's kind of 50-50 on the game in terms of opinions on the Saints Row reboot. Today guys I bring you all the info we know so far about Deep Silver Saints Row Reboot. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So yes we have had a trailer and we've also seen a minute bit of gameplay footage too from that 7 minute demonstration they shared a few days back. Now although I ain't really one to judge a game before I've played it because I've done this in the past and sometimes I've been surprised and yet there's been other times I've been kind of disappointed. No names, <coughs> cyberpunk. What I will do is give you guys my quick thoughts on what we've seen so far from these trailers. So firstly, this is about as far away from Saints Row as I can remember in terms of the way it looks. I mean I know it's a reboot, a fresh world, but geez. I mean besides the chunky cartoony graphic style of the game, is there anything Saints Row here? Ok so I will admit, I do like the look of the gameplay we have seen, it interests me, it looks good. But the character cast that we have seen from these trailers, they just don't do it for me. I mean how many games like this do you watch the trailers for and think to yourself, you wanna play as the bad guys? I mean this cast would definitely have been bullied at the old Saints Row games for sure. I mean I know most of the world has moved on in times but geez, this literally looks like a bunch of tiktokers have decided one day to try and take on the cartel. And watching it for the first time, I wasn't even sure if this was the new trailer to Fortnite. I mean who in their right mind at the studio after seeing what Saints Row stands for decided to think this was a good idea. I mean have you ever got balls of steel or no clue at all. I mean it is a weird one for me. But I understand it is a complete reboot. So besides the way the old Saints Row games played, considering it's a whole new world, whole new cast and there's going to be nothing of the older Saints Rows within this game and the way in which the world has moved on, what I'm seeing just doesn't surprise me at all. But having said all of that, even though a lot of the Saints Row community and I myself ain't quite happy with the way the narrative looks, we are still going to play it no doubt. Ok so getting into what we know so far. So it's scheduled release date is February 25th 2022 which might change as we know release dates this day and age don't stand for anything so please don't book the week of work, I mean as if you are gonna anyway. The game will release on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X consoles, it will also be on PC but on the Epic Game Store only as far as I am aware. The game will feature cross gen but not cross platform. It will also host a 4 man campaign co-op option where players can seamlessly drop in and out of each other's games. So yes the entire story can be played with friends. If you purchase it on PS4 or the Xbox One then upgrade your console to that next or new generation, there will be no extra cost for you to play on that new generation console. So players within the game will have plenty of customization options to create their own boss with a unique look and one of 8 different voices where they say it's the best created character the franchise has ever seen. And the lady within the trailer is just a default boss, this is the default character, you can create a male, female and so forth. And a lot of people are confused about the character we see within the trailer, a lot of the footage is before you actually join the saints which is where a lot of that confusion is coming from. There will also be options to customise weapons and vehicles too and judging by the over the top designs we see on vehicles in the trailer, it's going to be quite extensive. So your task as the boss of the saints is to take over the city one crime at a time, with missions consisting of ways to make money and take over the turf of other gangs. I believe there will be 3 main gangs within the game not including the saints so gang territories are definitely back. There will also be plenty of side missions too, including the return of insurance fraud, where players have to throw themselves at oncoming vehicles. The combat system will be reminiscent of previous central games with that cover system style not too over the top way of taking baddies out and like I said judging by the little bit of gameplay we have seen, this part, the gameplay looks actually really good. Now in terms of vehicles and ways to travel across the map, cars and road vehicles are a yes, we also see wingsuits, helicopters also. 
and I believe bolts are teased in a concept image, but I'd imagine there are many, many other vehicles on offer within this game. The setting of the city is Santo Aliso, I hope I said that right, probably didn't, and this guys is a brand new world, so don't expect anything but minor easter eggs from other older Saints Row games. Now within this new city you can also buy buildings, which you can use for that criminal activity, and this is said to impact the rest of the world. So pretty cool. And to end it guys, the Saints Row reboot will be available in three different versions, both physically and digitally. The Notorious Edition will only be available at retail and will come with an expansion pass that will include three DLC episodes, none of which right now we have any details on. The Notorious Edition also comes with the following content which you guys can see on screen now. And there we have it guys, this is what we know so far about the game. What I will say is, the content creators who got an inside look at proper gameplay of this reboot mostly believe people are overreacting and will love what's in store for them. But we will see guys, we will see, but tell me your thoughts on this down below within that comment section. Are you looking forward to this? Let me know. But on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.